Bellows control involving the power of two and phrases. What is the most significant function of the power of two in music? In traditional music, phrases are constructed along the line of the power of two, starting from the numeral one. In other words, one, two, four, or eight measure phrases. There are practically no phrases longer than eight measures. Recognizing the length of a phrase is determined as follows. <clears throat> a, a longer note often indicates the end of a phrase. B, a rest often means the same. C, when the phrase seems to repeat itself. All in all, it is when the silence of expression is observed. Therefore, when to reverse Bellow's direction should be influenced by the length of the phrases. There is a relationship between the power of two and the bellows. A one-measure phrase may be played in one direction. A two-measure phrase may be played in one direction or divided in two directions. A four-measure phrase may be played in one direction or divided in two directions. An eight-measure phrase is usually divided in two directions and only occasionally in one direction due to the length of the phrase. All of this is determined by a the time signature, whether two, three, or four beats in a measure, b the tempo, whether fast, moderate, or slow, c the dynamics, whether loud, medium, or soft. However, Bella's regulation is not limited to being reversed only once within a phrase, but may be reversed as often as the nature of the music justifies. A suitable example would be this passage from Rhapsody in Blue by Gershwin, wherein Bella starts by reversing on every four notes, then on three notes, two notes, and finally on one note. The last few measures from the Ritual Fire Dance by Defaya is another suitable example wherein Bellows is reversed on every note. In doing so, every note will receive the same consistent precise attack. <laughs> Following is a recommendation for practicing bellows control. Think of an exercise consisting of detached quarter notes for both hands and the articulation is non legato. Very important. The five finger position, ascending and descending, could be used. The metronome should be set at 112 for the quarter note. All notes should sound as of the same value with medium dynamic level. No stressing or accentuation. Start by changing the bellows on every four notes, then on every three notes, then two notes, and finally on every note. The time signature will be 4-4 four, four time, except when changing on every three notes, which will then be in 3-4 time. Reversing bellows should be done with no unnecessary effort on the part of the left arm. And the body should not sway from side to side when changing bellows, especially when changing on every note. I will change the bellows scheme at every four measures. <laughs> Thank you.
they should all sound exactly the same in value and as I say no stressing on any particular note all of this is a reminder that in playing compositions it is often necessary to change bellows frequently even on every note rather than at the end of a phrase and when this occurs it should not feel strange and awkward students take note the following study is an elementary approach to bellows action familiarly known as the bellows shake bellows will be reversed while holding one or more notes on the keyboard as though they are tied the notes will sound repeated legato is to be performed when changing from one note to another at which time bellows must be reversed skillfully so that no extra notes will sound practice hands separately at first then combine both hands and the ultimate purpose is to play the entire study with metronome set at 120 for the quarter note and maintain the tempo consistently throughout <laughs> Quite difficult, but an excellent study.